and they would put me at the head of the table and just make me sit there while they're talking. Things might be getting messy between Jaden and his mom as the 23-year-old appears to be unhappy about his mother's devious tactics over the decades. As it stands right now, the karate kid seems fed up with his mom's behavior, and along with his sister Willow, he's called her out for it. But what has Jada Pinkett Smith done to trigger the After Earth actor? And what are the fans saying about the whole brouhaha? First, it was Willow Smith who called out her mom for neglecting her while she suffered mental issues in a recent episode of The Red Table Talk. And now it's Jaden who thinks his mom is too manipulative, and fans seem to agree with him. This is not surprising because it's long been rumored that Jada Pinkett Smith is the one pulling the strings in the Smith family, and the rest are just her puppets bowing to her every command. According to the rumors, Will's love for his wife and commitment to maintaining the marriage at all cost has given Jada the power to manipulate or whoever she wants in her favor. A video clip from 2018 recently made the rounds on the internet, featuring Jaden Smith opening up about his life, career, and music music in an interview with Los Angeles radio presenter Big Boy. The rapper then went on to speak about his mom's relationship with Tupac and how she turned him down when Tupac asked her to marry him. Speaking to Big Boy, Jaden said, I'm looking at the picture right here of Tupac on the shirt right there and Tupac asked to marry mom and she was like, Pac, we're best friends. To which the celebrated radio presenter replied, they say marry your best friend, but I'm glad they didn't. While Jaden nodded in agreement because he probably knew his mom would have manipulated Tupac should the two of them have ended up in a relationship. Jada Pinkett Smith herself appeared to admit to being a manipulative freak in a 2019 video in which she said emphatically, I need you to be this thing for me so I don't feel a certain way and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put so much pressure on you and find really sneaky ways to manipulate you so that you'll always be the thing that I need you to be so that I'm happy. The video resurfaced in the wake of the Will Smith slap dubbed the slap heard around the world at this year's Oscars. Sharing their sentiments on Jada's egocentric ways, one fan said she literally just described exactly how narcissists think and operate. She's not the kind of woman who will look at a marriage as a partnership. She's the kind of viper that looks at a man as a doormat, said another. Another fan also wrote, there's so much stuff out there about Jada being a bona fide so Sociopath. She's really effed up in the head. Count how many times she said I and me in this clip. Hard to imagine anyone like Sherman Klump taking a fancy to this rancid woman, opined another user. To which one commenter replied, She's only manipulating herself to think she could ever be happy. Misery loves company, and that's not being happy. It's just more misery. This is why she has no trouble cheating on her husband and why she refused to take his last name. She doesn't see a man as a companion. She sees him as a tool designed to make her happy, said another user. After the slap went viral, fans quickly pointed out that Will himself initially laughed at the joke about Jada's hair, but only got up to slap Chris Rock when his wife manipulated him into doing it by rolling her eyes. Some eagle-eyed fans also spotted Jada appearing to laugh after the slap while her husband strolled back to his seat only for the Set It Off star to later throw her Will Smith under the bus after the whole incident went south. Meanwhile, just this month, another old video of Jada and her husband resurfaced where Jada was seen rebuking her visibly frustrated and angry husband for refusing to be filmed by her. In the video, Jada asks Will, would you say that she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? To which your husband responds, I would say, don't just start filming me without asking me if you can film me. Jada then flips and replies, oh my goodness, Esther, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. She then repeats her question, would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? Will, who couldn't control his anger anymore, retorts, my social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Don't. You'll remember a 2019 episode of The Red Table Talk when Willow appeared to call out her mom for manipulating her during her childhood days. According to Whip My Hair Singer, back in the day, if I would be crying or have an upset, my mom's energy was always like, take that somewhere else and deal with it on your own. Jada then tried to justify her actions by saying, 
The way we grew up, the way my mother grew up, you feel like you have to be strong. And the first thing you want to do is teach your girls how to be strong, she said. There was a time when her tears were so offensive to me, so offensive. I was like, take that over there. We can't afford that here. Well, a few days ago, Willow once again opened Pandora's box when she spoke about her mom's narcissistic behavior. Speaking to Ireland Baldwin, daughter of Kim Basinger and Alec Baldwin, the now 21-year-old Willow spoke about how she had to forgive her mom for all the years of manipulation. She had no idea, so I kinda had to forgive her a little bit, Willow said. Reacting to the whole episode, some fans couldn't help but take a swipe at Jada. One fan posted, I'm not here for everybody else, just that I do not approve of Jada. Another commented, would never listen to this podcast. Such a messed up family and why? Because their privileged parents messed up their kids. One fan, however, beautifully summed up what she thinks of Jada in a few words. They wrote, I honestly feel really bad for their kids. Jada is not only narcissistic and manipulative, but she's also an emotionally abandoning mother and wife. Every time something was going on in that family, even the most personal things, she was always broadcasting it for the whole world to see. Or she posts about it even if it's towards her own kids or her own husband, which she obviously can talk to them in person. She exploits her family for her own personal gain and advantage and leaves them stuck in a corner. She's abusive. Do you agree with Jaden, his sister, and the fans on Jada's manipulative ways? Or do you think that Jada is simply a misunderstood character? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section.